everyone welcome back with mr dave on cambridge igcse ict now um this video will be focusing on the task tree question tree if you want to look through the previous question you can actually find my previous video it will be on in the playlist just head on my channel and you will be able to find previous videos for yourself all right let's start with this question now this question will be asking us to input some of the images all right there are three images that we need to input into the cell the table that were created previously now there will be n23 giraffe and 23 logo and n23 head and we're going to place all of these in cell a b and f now i'm currently on my mac environment so let, let's head on to the windows environment okay this was previously created in question two so we're just going to continue doing this right now now so we're going to place the picture right here on cell a now there are two ways that you want to do uh, whenever you put in a picture but it's always very easy that you can actually put the picture uh, by using the design view all right and then you can select the cells that you want to other than that you can also actually create or just make sure you add the pictures via the code now i'm going to show you how you can insert a picture via the code very easily as well so i'm just going to remove that a as well as you remember the question previously told us that we don't have to put the letter right there so i'm just going to put it this way so it's easy for me to look at and to if you remember correctly, the code to add in uh, images in the HTML is IMG image source. All right, we can actually type in the name of the picture itself. So we're just going to go on to find the file name, which is N23 Giraffe. So we can type it out N23 Giraffe, okay, and then .jpg. Now, if before we move on to the next question because they asked us to add some appropriate alternate text to all images so we can after putting the name of that we can put alt and then we can say an image of a giraffe okay so once we do that we can close that with the angle bracket and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this okay now um before we move on i would just want to show you all to see how the picture looks like i just want to show all of you that i have saved this tgs html into a folder called tgs previously so when we do that we can actually uh place all of the files and should be working fine whenever we want to preview our picture so i'm just going to go ahead and save this first and then i'm just going to go file just going to put this one somewhere all right so once again we're going to go file and then we're going to preview browser okay so i don't have any browser being saved into this feature so if you are the same like me you can click edit browser list now we don't really want to look at internet explorer because that one is a really really old browser so we're going to use chrome instead and we're going to preview this um um in this size now, if you want to add in your own favorite browser and it's not in the middle, you can go ahead and add and then you just find the exe file of your browser. So I'm just going to go ahead and select OK. All right, so once that's done, you can select preview in browser. And if you want to do that with the keyboard shortcut, you can click that. You can press the F12 on your keyboard. And I'm just going to go ahead and select Chrome right here. So Chrome will be loading up. And then you will be able to see that the picture is actually uh, in the size, a very tall picture over in cell A. And the rest of the cell B, C, D, and E, F are all placed on the right side of the screen. Don't worry about the width first because the question did not ask us to do anything with the picture in cell A. So let's head back to do cell B. Okay, so the question next asks us to insert n23logo.jpg. Now, you can just go right ahead really easily by just simply uh, copy the entire markup for in cell A, and then you rearrange the ones in cell B. So I often like to put a little space after that so that we can just copy the code over in cell B. What I need to do is to change that name to logo. 
and then let's preview how that logo looks like. All right, I'm going to preview this over in Paint, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make sure I'm not going to make any changes to this. So you can see that this is a logo. All right, once that um, we can actually place any alternate tags. This is a. So the picture is a logo of the Animal Cloud for Tarawa. So a logo of Ter Wara Animal Sanctuary. So any kind of alternate text, it's fine as long as it's appropriate. And then we're just going to go ahead and save this again so we can preview it in the browser and take a look whether that's right. Okay, so this is, okay, I made a little mistake. It's not Animal Sanctuary, it's rather as a Giraffe Sanctuary. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that one giraffe sanctuary so if you put in some kind of alternate text that doesn't relate you can just go ahead and change that if you want to as well all right so we're just going to move on to cell e we have that now i'm also going to show to students if you want to insert picture uh, via the menus at the top you can as well and you don't really like the method that i do which is to place the code inside so let's, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just make changes in cell A. And then at the top in Microsoft Expression Web 4, you can also insert a picture via the GUI method or via the visual method. Just go all the way to the top and select insert, then picture from file. Depending on where you save your logos and their pictures during your practice, and then what we're going to do in this period is that this is the N23 head. I'm just going to go ahead and place this picture. And then in the Microsoft Expression Web 4, you can literally type the alternate text uh, via this visual menu. I can just say a head of a headshot of a giraffe. All right, this is how I would like to describe this picture with the alternate text. And I'm just going to select OK. And you can see that. This is literally the same as the one that we have over at the top. It's just that the alternate text is being switched and then the SRC is right there. If you don't really like this one, you can just go ahead and then you just rearrange that over here. That's actually pretty fine. You know, that is, there's no, um, there's no, um, it doesn't really matter how these elements are arranged as long as the syntax are correct. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and save, and then we're going to preview over in the browser. And you can see that the F has been placed with the head of a giraffe. Okay, so we all have the images in A, B, and F placed correctly with the logos and the pictures that we need to. We also have already added the alternate text to all images. Right now, they ask us to use an inline style, which means we're going to put in a style in that uh, HTML. We're not going to depend on CSS to make sure that the logo fits the full width of cell B. All right, so logo fits the full width of cell B. Okay, so we're going to head back to our Windows environment, and then the picture or the logo in cell B is right here. So in the code, you can, it's a very easy way to do this. We just need to make sure we add that style uh, inside the picture of this one, which is just go ahead and press space just now. And then you type that style and then you just press the equal sign. And then here you can put the element of the width and then um, press and type in 100% so this entire picture will expand it and make sure it fits exactly in cell B so when you finish typing that code just go ahead and save this and then preview this in the browser again all right now you can see that the animal giraffe uh, sorry the Tirawa giraffe sanctuary picture logo is now a hundred percent full width in the picture all right now that's all you have to do for this question. And then before we close and stop this video, let's take a look in the smart scheme. We do have the pictures of places correctly. And then the giraffe cell A logo, cell B, head cell F, all correct. We have one mark. 
um, and then the width has been placed with 100% on the style and then we have the appropriate text for all three images and the total mark for this question is four so that means um, we will have one mark if we have two of the pictures placed correctly and we will have another mark if all three pictures have been inserted correctly as well and then the third mark will be awarded with the width 100 percent on logo and then we also have the appropriate alternate text for all three images so if you've done that correctly you have all four marks awarded and with that thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video